visions by charles stuart calverley read for LibriVox.org by leonard wilson of springfield ohio she was a phantom etc in lone glenartney's thickets lies couched the lordly stag the dreaming terrier's tail forgets its customary wag and plodding ploughmen's weary steps insensibly grow quicker as broadening casements light them on towards home or home-brewed liquor it is in fact the evening that pure and pleasant time when stars break into splendour and the poets into rhyme when in the glass of memory the forms of loved ones shine and when of course miss goodchild's is prominent in mine miss goodchild julia goodchild how graciously you smiled upon my childish passion once yourself a fair-haired child when i was no doubt profiting by dr crabbe's instruction and sent those streaky lollipops home for your fairy suction she wore her natural roses the night when first we met her golden hair was gleaming neath the coercive net her brow was like the snodrift her step was like queen mab's and gone was instantly the heart of every boy at crab's the parlour boarder chasseed towards her on graceful limb the onyx decked his bosom but her smiles were not for him with me she danced till drowsily her eyes began to blink and i brought raisin wine and said drink pretty creature drink and evermore when winter comes in his garb of snows and the returning schoolboy is told how fast he grows shall i with that soft hand in mine enact ideal answers and dream i hear demure remarks and make impassioned answers i know that never never may her love for me return at night i muse upon the fact with undisguised concern but ever shall i bless that day i don't bless as a rule the days i spent at dr crabbe's preparatory school and yet we two may meet again be still my throbbing heart now rolling years have weaned us from jam and raspberry tart one night i saw a vision twas when musk roses bloom i stood we stood upon a rug in a sumptuous dining-room one hand clasped hers one easily reposed upon my hip and bless ye burst abruptly from mr goodchild's lip i raised my brimming eye and saw in hers an answering gleam my heart beat wildly and i woke and lo it was a dream and a poem this recording is in the public domain